Oh, we're late as we're late enough as it is. Let's get this show on the road. Guess who's soaked? Yours truly. Got a got a bit of a a wet T-shirt contest happening here on the Nerve Stream this Sunday afternoon. Chase away the blues. I just got caught in the rain, and uh, believe you me, after the past two weeks of uh, intense heat with no relief, it felt freaking incredible. It's me, your pal, uh, Nervous, your American friend in London, as wet as the day I was born, soaked down to the skin. I'm not changing my clothes. I've already changed my clothes once. Let me tell you what I've been up to today. Um, we went to see some friends last night, had some drinks, had some dinner. Uh, Justina stayed over. I came home. And uh, this morning, I got up. I had some breakfast. I went for a walk. So I trimmed the hedge. I trimmed the hedge. <clears throat> I ripped down some vines to the best of my ability. I couldn't... Because we're on the first floor. I had cat hair in my mouth. Um, sorry. Because uh, we're on the first floor, I can't reach the vines that are encroaching on our window, but I ripped down uh, their base. So hopefully they will wither and fall off. Uh, but I was doing the hedge, I was doing the vines, I didn't get caught in the rain. I was out there for a good two hours trimming. My arms feel well. My arms aren't going to feel good in the next couple of days. I know that. I know that from experience. Uh, but I feel pretty good now. Uh, so that was my upper body workout. And then after that, it was like, oh, God. Uh, well, I've just spent two hours out doing the yard work. Um, that means it's almost time to stream. And uh, I don't have any lunch that will that I'll be able to cook in um, less than 20 minutes. So I went out to the village market. And what did I find? Well, I was thinking, hmm, maybe I'll get a big old hot dog. That'd be all right. They, there's, there's a hot dog stand that's here on Sundays, and I'm like, they, they do pretty good hot dogs. But then I remembered, there is a uh, burrito stand now as well. We used to have a burrito takeaway place here in the borough. It's, it's been gone for a few years. It ain't coming back. But on Sundays, there is a uh, taco and burrito stand uh, staffed by some very lovely ladies. And I've never tried it. Uh, so I went over there, I got the biggest freaking burrito, eight pounds, absolutely massive. Eight pounds isn't, that's how much it costs, that's not how much it weighed. I don't think I'd be able to eat an eight pound burrito. But I could eat a burrito that cost eight pounds. Um, and you got a lot of bang for your buck. Look, I got a meat one, um, you can't, you could get a vegan one. But I got, I got my meat. And then on top of that, there was peppers, there was rice, there were black beans. Pico de Gallo, salsa, guacamole, hot sauce, jalapenos. It was bursting, absolutely bursting, and worth every penny. Um, and on the way home from the burrito stand, I got caught in the rain. And here's Birdwitch. How are you doing? <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the Sunday Kosoge stream, uh, where we are returning to uh, Root Letter Last Answer. Um, and I am relaying a story of getting a delicious burrito and getting soaked in the rain. And, uh, feeling pretty good about it. All I can say is, if only it was raining men. Hey, Red. How's it going? Happy Sunday. Um, so that's me. I did some yard work. I got a burrito. I got all wet. I'm still wet now. I am drenched. Um, uh, Birdwitch is full! I'd love to see it. An eight-pound burrito. I, you, you know, don't tempt me with a good time. Um, I better load this up. We better play this game. Um, gal stationery. You know, it's been maybe three weeks since we played this, so I, I don't even remember what's going on. We better uh, think about our situation. Uh, if you want to know about pop stars, you ask the pop star freaks. Where would I find a pop star freak? That place. Okay, probably in our guidebook, huh? No, that's the cafe that we're in. Um, for those of you just joining us for the first time, um, I uh, have mentioned this uh, in previous streams. This is Root Letter, 
It is a uh, adventure game that was made in conjunction with the Matsue tourist industry uh, to encourage all the young gamers to uh, come on down uh, to uh, to beautiful Matsue and see the sights. So you've got uh, you got real life locations. Um, that you can read about in your guidebook, like this cafe that we're currently in. There's a pub that we go to uh, earlier in the game. Uh, and we are a 30-year-old man who has found uh, uh, some old uh, letters from his high school pen pal, uh, and he's decided to travel to Matsue to try and uh, uh, hunt her down and meet her because he's got this 15-year unrequited crush. Uh, he's a bit of an incel character, uh, and everybody he meets, he immediately alienates. He is a horrible bully. Uh, we've been thrown out of almost every real-life venue that we've been to uh, because we're a piece of shit. I'm not playing the character that way. That's just how he is. We are absolutely a villain protagonist. I don't know if that's intended. Um, it's a lot. This game is a lot. Um, ah, getting knocked out by the reigning men. Hey, enough with the waterworks. There it is. Waterworks, uh, cozy and precious time with waterworks. Coffee, tea, cakes, and foods. So there it is. It's built above a tennis court. They have magazines and art and pleasant music playing in the background. Well, <laughs> I should, um, when I finally make it to Japan, maybe I should go on the Root Letter reality tour. <laughs> and I can go into Waterworks and uh, be like, hey, scumbag. Um, it says it's new. That kind of suggests that we're meant to be there. I'm absolutely lost as to uh, what we were doing last time we played this. <laughs> Let's think. Yeah, pop star freaks at that place. What is that place? <laughs> what is that place? Is it in here? Can we ask around? I don't see anyone. Not even a shop attendant. It's a cute little potted plant. I quite like that. Touch all the gachapon machines. Hell yes. Get yourself a nice little keshigomu um, of a bento. I love the cute erasers. Cute eraser culture. Clean tables. That's what you like to see at the cafe. I guess this is not the place for pop star freaks. So let's go to the overall map. <sighs> Do pop star freaks hang out at the theater company? Maybe. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> We're just left to our own devices. Let's check out that mirror. No, we can't. <laughs> the true Shenmue experience. That's right. Uh, how's everybody doing this Sunday? We can go get some Dango. Probably the shopping area, right? Um, a, a bird witch, of course, there's a bad thing that happened. Uh, we found, um, the last letter, um, we, we found it, uh, uh, many years later without a postmark, and it says, I killed somebody, never contact me again. And we're like, whoa, how did I miss this? Um, and, uh, now we're trying to figure out what's going on. And we're meeting all of her friends and bullying them, and they're saying, like, and then even after we bully them to the point of tears, they're like, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that owl. Uh, Birdwitch uh, Shenmue uh, was a, a, a quote-unquote revolutionary Sega adventure game uh, that came out at the end of the 90s. It was the most expensive game ever made uh, at the point of its release. Um, it is a martial arts mystery where you're trying to find the man who killed your father, uh, but it's also supposed to be like a kind of slice of life exploring 80s Japan. And most of that equates to your uh, solemn character um, being able to uh, play with all the gachapon machines and uh, get all the little plastic Sega characters while he goes, hmm, that's nice. We played it on stream a few months back. We'll play the sequels eventually. 
There's birds. There's trinkets. There's no idle freaks, though. I feel like I'm going idle. <laughs> I was just thinking before we fired this up. Um, this game is very... Um, guided. And there's not really... You're not really using your brain. You're just kind of like going from place to place. But uh, me... I've forgotten what we're doing, so now it has turned into a puzzle. I don't think there's any idle freaks at the UFO research lab. <laughs> Where could they be? Could they be at the station? Waiting to catch the idle train. No. <laughs> Maybe at the gift shop. <laughs> No, it's just bread here. <laughs> what are we missing? What have we done wrong? Let's check our smartphone. Do we have any items that suggest where we should go? Whoa! We got a bird doll. It's pretty cute. Um, the newspaper company. It is absolutely more of a box, uh, push, box pushing and gotcha pun using simulator than a martial arts game. 100%. So the newspaper company, is this, is this where the, uh, where the freaks are? Hey, freaks. What's going on there? We got some cut, no, it's not Shunga. Some sort of picture. <laughs> no elaboration. Oh, I see. So it's just inside and outside. God damn it! <laughs> what happened here? What happened to this game? Three weeks away and I lose my damn mind. I guess we. I'm gonna look up where we, where we need to go to find some idle freaks. Nobody has written an FAQ about this game. Perfect. <laughs> Nobody likes this. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just going to have to go everywhere. We're going to race some forklifts, maybe. Uh, racing forklifts, looking for sailors. Um, I didn't mean to go in here again. Hello, hello, receptionist. Invisible receptionist. Okay. Let's tackle everything on the map. Firstly, the art studio. I'm feeling very lonely. <laughs> no, nobody here to see us. It is still raining. I love it. I absolutely love it. Maybe uh, at our favorite dining spot, there will be an idle freak. <sighs> Nobody here for us. Maybe that's an idol. I mean, she looks like she's enjoying her beer. <sighs> Lord. Been to the shopping area. Go back to the inn. <laughs> Oh, bummer. Um, let's go to our room. Yes, Bird Witch. It's all, it's all photographs to show off the, the beauty. The beauty of Matsue Prefecture. Or Matsue City in Shimane Prefecture. <sighs> I kind of like this aesthetic, though. I like... Um, I like a game that uses photographs of, of places. Nope. Nobody in the hall. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Nobody at the station. Maybe at the Dango shop.
We abused so we abused the pastry chef last time. Oh, we got an achievement for looking at everything. <laughs> we abused the pastry chef, and then we thought that we thought that uh, the bitch, as uh, she was called in game, is um, the uh, the TV host. But apparently, she's an idol, and we need to find out where we can find this idol. I feel like people are just hiding under desks when we go in. They're like, oh god, he'll leave soon. I like, see, we're not allowed. We're not allowed in here anymore. We've... Well, they say that we're allowed in there, but we can't actually go in. They're never gonna let us back in Patisserie Pure. After the way we treated its owner. Any idols at the museum? No, oh, just paintings. <laughs> I don't know where we could go. TV station. Did they let us in the TV station? Yeah, this is where we abused a newscaster. <laughs> They're definitely hiding from us now. It looks interesting. It's shockingly... You're shockingly abusive in this game. We've been to the theater company. That's no help. It's still flashing new on Waterworks, so I'm... That's really suggesting that that's where we're meant to be. So maybe we just need to investigate everything within the shop. So let's do that. I didn't mean to go back to the map. Yeah, we like, um... Yeah, it, it's really weird, Birdwitch. You'll see if we ever get to... to where we're supposed to be. But, like, the first guy we meet, he's just, like, feeding some stray cats, and we, uh, um, like, abuse him to the point of tears and then rip his wig off his head. Um, and he's just, you know... <laughs> he's just a guy. That's just clean tables, isn't it? And there's nothing else we can interact with here. What's going on? <laughs> Have we been punished for our past transgressions? I feel like we might have. They have live performances from time to time. And to be fair, I've been uh, kind of I've been kind of leaning into his horrible behavior, and I've because they allow you to uh, choose the last couple of lines of the letters that you write. So I've been choosing the worst possible responses. What a stylish design. Yeah, we met Fatty, um, but Fatty Fatty's now thin. Uh, so, uh, but then you, you, you talk to Fatty and he's like, no, I was never fat. And he's like, yeah, you were, and you hate yourself so much because you were a weakling and now you're thin and you look good. Bread man, yes, yes. Yes, in Iru. Well, I'm at a loss. That's not a good hint. Yes, that is that is exactly what I was referencing. <laughs> well, let's go to the shrine and uh, pray for pray for somebody to help us. <laughs> They've got cute designs. Oh. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. Yeah, and the chocolate got smeared all over his face and it looked like feces. Okay. A real proclamation. Somebody must have written something, right? Some freak did, yeah. Okay. 
So what do we got to do? Um, let's see. We've got the bird doll. Feeder company. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This is weird, because according to this walkthrough, Waterworks shouldn't even be unlocked yet. Um, so. I'm so confused. <laughs> Have we ended up on, like, a different route? Because I know there's multiple routes, and we've been talking about aliens a lot, so maybe we've been making people uh, freaked out. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, enemy. How are you doing? Um, I am. I'm very confused as to what we're doing now. Um, I haven't played this for three weeks. This is the um, horrible, horrible root letter uh, where we are an abusive uh, person um, bumbling our way through Matsue City trying to find our former pen pal. Um, we're looking for something related to idols? And the uh, hint is just like, I know where to go to find idols. Oh my gosh, Big Thunder. Pop stars. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> Where do we go to find pop stars? just started and this is really tiring me out already um, so we've been to fuck can you like the last place that we haven't been to is the UFO research facility should we go to the UFO research facility <laughs> is that where people are mad for pop stars uh, Thunder Moon. Love a good full moon. I didn't see the moon last night, but, um... Are you fucking kidding me? It's always the last place you check. Uh, when I knock on the door, Morita pokes his head out. I guess that's just how he does things. Doesn't seem like he'll just let me in. There's no way around it. I'll show him it. I seem to do this every time. I could do without this. What are we going to do to him? What we got? What do you want? You want a bird? You like birds? He doesn't want a bird. <laughs> How about a rabbit? Uh, a ornament I bought from a souvenir store in the city. It's the shape of a rabbit. It probably won't guarantee communication with UFOs. Well, here you go. <laughs> I take out the rabbit figurine with the agate base. Yes, evil. I step inside the research lab. <sighs> I step inside. Sugari seems to be out at the moment, so it's just me and Morita. Uh, Sugari isn't here. No, I I'm not after you her. It's you I have business with. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think there was this thing in the last, in our last episode of this, where, um, uh, what do you call it? The agate. They were like, oh, if you get agate, we can talk to some UFOs. Because this is a genius game. 
Whoa, hold on there. I have something I want to ask you about local pop stars. He thought we were coming on to him. Sure. What did he think I was here for? And why did it freak him out so much? <laughs> Imagine if he was gay. Imagine. Uh, it's about Ara Sasaki, Sasaki's mother. He's got a rare bromide. Uh, Morita shows me the photo. She's pretty cute, isn't she? Sounds like a tough business. Oh, she became an Anka singer. Never heard of it. Morita takes out Riko Misaki's CD. Winter scenery of Sanin. Uh, so that's why she gave up show business. Hearing that makes me sad. We're going to see some sexy photos. Ouch. Ah, so that must be the uh, poster that we saw in Kami Arian of the uh, anime lady holding a the beer. There's a, there's a poster of her in a bathing suit. So are we going to steal this from our favorite eatery? Could you lend me the photo and CD? Is there something you want in exchange? Surely we could just like go buy a CD and a photo of this uh, idol. It seems Morita is having some trouble deciding. I'll try suggesting something. How about I bring you Ara Sasaki's, Sasaki's autograph? Birdwitch, 100%. <laughs> huh? She's an ordinary housewife now. I know. I'll bring you back her autograph. Could you lend me the photo and CD in the meantime? He lets me borrow the photo and CD. <laughs> when I'm not looking at UFOs, I'm looking at babes. <laughs> Morita takes a seat by the strange machine and becomes still. I have an idea how I can get the poster. I'm not hungry, but I'll head over there anyway. Out in our inventory. Let's check out this bu -bu 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 babe. Wow, look at that. Um, <laughs> okay. And there is her Anka CD. The male gaze and the not gaze. Time for dinner. Gotta get those sumo legs and hips. Sanpei! No, I don't think so. Uh, you were saying you collect Magatama beer posters, right? Do you have one of Rico? <laughs> we're getting roasted. Uh, is it that hardcore? Extreme beer posters? Sign me up. Could I, uh, borrow it? I got, I got mud on my ankles. I'm getting caught in the rain. Ugh. I'm a messy boy. Uh, if all goes well, I'll get you her autograph on that poster. <laughs> I 
All right. <laughs> yeah, I like that too, I gotta say. Sanpei brings out the poster of Rico. Rico, in a daringly high-cut swimsuit, is posed with her mouth half open, holding a beer with a suggestive look. Wow, this sure is painful. I borrow the poster of Rico. <laughs> Back to the kitchen with Sanpei. And his, um, psychotic eyes. Uh, Sanpei goes back to work. And we got the poster of Rico. All right, I got all the tools. I'll get the information about Aya for sure this time. <sighs> Let's see this hot stuff. There she is. Uh, in, in full anime style. <laughs> See, uh, when this game was originally released, uh, it, it used photographic backgrounds, but it had uh, anime characters. Um, it got an expanded re-release the following year, uh, which gave you the choice of the original, the original art or these photographed actors. And baby, you know I'm going to go with the photographed actors. I love a, little, love a little bit of campness in my bad game. When I arrive at Usaki Children's Theater Company, the company members and their guardians have started going home. I wonder if Bitch is still here. Good. <laughs> bitch and her daughter are staying after to practice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> you again. This time I'll get the truth from you. Mama. <laughs> I'm gonna call you a bitch in front of your daughter. <laughs> uh, like in the the letters that we received from our pen pal, she gives nicknames to her um, to her friends because she doesn't wanna. I guess she doesn't wanna give their names. So there's like. <laughs> She's like, oh, my best friends, uh, Monkey and Fatty and Four Eyes and Bitch. And it's like, you seem like a horrible person. <laughs> and so we're going with the names that, uh, that were in the letter. Um, and Bitch doesn't quite have the same connotations in the original Japanese. Um, they, um, they use Beachy. Uh, here, which just like kind of suggests more like bitching and chattiness than the uh, uh, Western... Uh, and then the Western connotations of just saying, like, hey, bitch, to, to some random woman. <laughs> Hello, CD Breakfast. Happy Sunday to you. How are you doing? Uh, I'll use max mode here. <laughs> we're going to scream in her face. This just isn't a thing. The grab your idol, Miss Rico. Pinup girl Rico. <laughs> this is very inappropriate. <laughs> She's gonna kick our ass. She's just gonna defenestrate us. And rightfully so. The struggle ruffian has arrived. How's it going? Arisa reads, leaves the practice studio. You've, you've come just in time for the truth investigation with Bitch. Uh, I didn't think that she might have overcome her fear. Do you admit to being Bitch? It's a fact that you were in that class. The proof that bitch was in the class is... What do we have? What do we have in our inventory? She's not going to want to sign any of this for us. Come on. <laughs> We've been so horrible to her. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? Uh, we got that little bird. Um, it might be this company brochure. No, it's not that. Um... I think this is older stuff. So it might. Oh, hang on. Transcribed list of names. That'll be it. Uh, Rico Haneda. There it is. 
Your name was on the roster. I had four eyes show me your high school class roster. <laughs> the name Rico Haneda was there, plain as day. Rico Haneda was the hottest girl in your high school, wasn't she? <laughs> she wanted to become an actress. And after graduating from high school, she joined a talent agency. What? <laughs> what bitch did first in show business was... Um, so I'm thinking it'll be this... this youngin. You first tried becoming a pop star, didn't you? Your first stage name was Jurina. <laughs> Jurina Haneda. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, please sign this brochure. Uh, there's a fanboy I know. Sorry, a hardcore fan. <laughs> Could you please autograph this? The owner asked me to get it signed. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to sign it. <laughs> she seems very pleased, actually. A uh, bitch seems to be in a good mood as she signs the photo. <laughs> Popular? Hmm, something's not right. Alright, we got our photo signed for our friend. Bitch couldn't find an audience and started a new line of work. I think that'd be her sexy poster next. Uh, nope, not time. I guess it's her album. Her Enka album. That can't be! Juriana Haneda didn't become famous. <laughs> so she rebranded herself as Riko Misaki and became an Enka singer. The CD is the proof. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh no. No, it's okay. Finally, as Rico, she posed in a swimsuit for a poster from Magatama Beer. <laughs> Face. <laughs> so we take it out now. And this is that poster. It's <laughs> very inappropriate. Uh, then you'll tell me the truth, huh? You're a bitch, right? <laughs> if you don't talk, I'll just take this poster to Arisa and... <laughs> if you don't tell me that you're the bitch, I'm gonna show some sexy photos of you to your daughter. I don't want to, but if you don't talk, I just might. If you're going to be that stubborn, I should have gotten a hold of that magazine, too. <gasps> Lightning! Uh, a photographer approached you at Kilmise shopping area, and your picture was in Teen's Queen, right? <laughs> I don't know if that got picked up on the mic, but that was some huge thunder. Uh, what are you mad about? Your photo was in a magazine that high school girls love. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, just, I can't believe how evil we are, just all the time. Uh, bitch seals her lips like a clam. Sulking, huh? Childish. I'll apologize with Max Mode here. Oh, it's not going to be an apology at all, is it? The world is over! Uh, Birdwitch, I'll never tell. This is bad, I gotta do something, that's not it! The world is ending. Just screaming that in her face. That your photo didn't make it is definitely messed up. <laughs> definitely. A good-looking girl like you not making the magazine? There definitely must have been something else going on. 
This is not an apology. <laughs> Maybe you were too cute and someone got jealous. That beauty and sexiness ended up backfiring. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. We're not just a terrible actor, we're a terrible person. Uh, I'll apologize with Max Mode again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> this was all my fault. <laughs> Just try a... Uh, try a little... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the right answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now she's depressed. How can I cheer her up? I'll scream in max mode. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we just got called a pedophile. Rico is glaring with me. <laughs> glaring at me with eyes like a snake. <laughs> so we gotta use an item, huh? <sighs> Let's think about it. I don't know about the fans. I guess it's probably due to this, right? Yeah. You were cute, and that's a fact. They were selling photos of you like this, and you even had fans who want your autograph. The hidden number one. No, there's no way. I like her glasses a lot. I like her outfit, too. She's kind of a babe. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be so sure. A classmate of yours wrote this letter. I take the letter out and hand it to her. See for yourself. Bitch reluctantly takes the letter and starts reading. Konnichiwa. <laughs> I'm just gonna refill my cup. This is, uh, this is spread out. <laughs>将来アカデミー賞をもらったりして、そんなの無理だよと笑われるかもしれませんが、でも私たちには無限の可能性があるんです。この先夢のような未来が待っているかもしれません。そう考えると心が躍ります。今日は私の方がマックスですね。私も写
and say, hey, hey, pussy. <laughs> Very Strindberg. <laughs> oh, poor Feds. Poor, poor Feds. Fits the dog, ladies and gentlemen. He's a happy boy. Struck a ruffian's dog. He's a he's a happy, delighted boy. Um, but he is uh, not enjoying the thunder. It sounds like we were we were out in the woods uh, with Fitz on uh, on Friday. Uh, it was the first day that it was cool enough for us to actually uh, go out without uh, us or the dog getting heat stroke. And uh, boy, was he he was such a happy boy. Um, the harshness leaves bitch as her face becomes kinder. Might take borscht out later this afternoon. Those were her sincere feelings. <laughs> Piero. Huh? <laughs> Cartoon silhouette and a real girl. Oh, look at that hair and makeup. She's a she's a Kogal. <laughs> hubba hubba. And that bitch was her. Wow. What a glow up. <laughs> You're a bitch, right? So <laughs> yo. <laughs>、<laughs> oh, it didn't work out. But your photo wasn't in it. Whoa! Bitch returns the letter to me. So, who is she? <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to jail. <laughs> Why won't anybody answer me? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be. <laughs> we should leave your daughter alone. Uh, what should I do? If this is how it's going to be, we'll just have to have a battle of patience. I got time on my side. I wait patiently. I'm just going to stand there and stare at her. So absolutely love how <laughs> it just zooms in on everybody's chin. <laughs> That's right, Red. Hmm. Whoa. Someone was pretending to be Aya? Who? The bestie? We haven't found the bestie yet. Bestie is called Nishino, huh? Bitch looks distressed, but I can't get all sympathetic right now. <laughs> I show her the picture. Who is my pen pal? Don't lie. You just said she was acting the part. Someone was pretending to be Aya, right? Look at that glitch! 
Somebody uh, forgot to close a tag. Uh, enemy, I don't know. I wish I could tell you why we're so horrible. Ghosts and UFOs and now legends. Oh, come on. Arisa comes over. <laughs> you left me outside. I've just been playing with cigarette butts. Hey! <laughs> no surprises there. Bitch takes Arisa and leaves. Mm. Bitch said it wasn't her photo that they printed in the magazine. It was Aya's. If I get in touch with the publishing company, they might be able to sell me the issue. Oh! I look up the publishing company and give them a call. All right, I've ordered the issue of Teen's Queen from 15 years ago. Oh, right, I should go return these. Ah. Oh, wow! Perfect timing. Thank you very much, enemy. Um, I head for the UFO research lab and Kami Arian. <laughs> I love that the waiter at Kami Arian was like, "Don't you dare get that poster autographed by autographed by her. It'll go down in value." Uh, Morita was really happy when I handed him the autographed photo. Struggle Ruffian, in short, yes, we are stalk We are on to stalking idols. Uh, I give back the stuff I borrowed. Back to the inn, I guess. I arrive back at the inn. Haruka comes over. <laughs> Still no luck. It seems her classmates have a shared secret. Why do you say that? Struggle Ruffian, is this bringing you around to the uh, the rich genre that is visual novels? See how um see how see how deep and smart they are? <laughs> you think so? When I return, I find that my room has been broken into. Somebody tangled up my headphones, took my lighter out, and my umbrella. What the? My belongings are next to the table. It doesn't look like anything was stolen. Who did this? Crap. I'm pissed off now. If this is how they're going to be, I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery no matter what. I'm so mad, I think I'll get a drink. Are we going to go to the pub that we've previously been banned from for being abusive? <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, when I get to Nakamura Bar, the bartender is arguing with a young couple out front. <laughs> Seems like we've come at the perfect time. When you close one door, when one door closes, another opens. All you have to do is walk in. Uh, the bartender puts the close sign on the door and goes back inside. Again, this is a real bar. <laughs> this is a real bar that we... Uh, somebody else has been kicked out here. But we have been kicked out of here, I think, twice. Um, but they say, please visit the lovely... Uh, this lovely bar on the marina. What do you think of the bar? <laughs> Doing great press for this real-life uh, drinking spot. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> uh, the bartender was acting weird. What happened? This weather is something else. Aya, the bartender reacted to that name. Are we gonna go peep? We're gonna peep. We're gonna peep in the peephole. Peering through the door, I see the bartender at the counter, cradling his head. <laughs> I think the people, the people in these photos, were just doing a job. But the owners of the places, I'm very curious to find that out. 
<laughs> Looks like something's going on. The couple leaves. I step into the bar. Just ignoring the closed sign because we can't read. <laughs> I ignore the closed sign and step inside. Should have locked the door. Come on, just one drink. <laughs> Come on, can I have a drink with you? <laughs> Don't be so cold. <laughs> hey. I better leave him alone for now. So let's just take a seat. So what's going on? Lots of bottles of alcohol. Well stocked. Look at that. We got some Yamazaki. We got whatever that is. That looks fun. What is that? I guess we're not able to interact with it. Is that a child's toy? Is that a child's toy in this bar room? Uh, there's a coaster on the counter. Someone has jotted down. 153501. <laughs> Get chased out of town? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Don't get mad. I take the coaster. <laughs> we just stole it! We just stole it! I leave the bar. The bartender's acting weird. I took the coaster without asking, though. It might come in handy. <laughs> We're so horrible! Uh, well, I'll start heading back to my room. Sounds good. I mean, who knows? That might actually happen. That would be the only ending to, uh... You know, getting our just, just desserts. Uh, I arrive back at Matsue Inn. When I return to my room, Haruka comes by with her younger cousin, Yuki Hara. Holy moly. I wonder if the Aya Fumino she's talking about is a different person from my pen pal. Yeah, she certainly looks a little bit older than the other characters we've been encountering. So, from what we understand, uh, there was an Aya Fumino who died in the 1980s. But our pen pal from 15 years ago claimed to be Aya Fumino. So we're running around asking about Aya Fumino. Um, she died, her house burnt to the ground. Um, what bitch was saying, pardon, pardon me. What Rico was saying was um, that uh, things went too far to, to help somebody. I think that kind of, su that suggests to me that perhaps this, uh, like Aya Fumino's mother, maybe she was suffering from dementia or something. And uh, our pen pal tried to take on, take on the role of uh, her dead daughter to comfort her. That's what I'm assuming is happening. But could it be Wicker Manny? I would absolutely love that. Or we end up getting killed. Oops, wrong item. That would be perfect too. Is this your Aya? I show the photo I received in my pen pal. So you, What the? Are you sure? Uh, Yuki shows me a photo from of Aya from 25 years ago. It shows Aya and her parents, Naoki and Yoko Fumino, standing next to a Western-style building. It's the same girl as in my photo. So both photos were of the late Aya Fumino. Hmm. What kind of person was Aya? Fair of face and figure. Uh, is there anyone who knows Aya's father's address? No, nobody knows. <laughs> Did anything strange happen after she died? Ooh. Very scary. Maybe even that rumor. What's that rumor? <laughs> I heard that Aya takes classmates to the afterlife, but... 
That would make sense. We were showing everybody the Aya Fumino photo before, um, and they were all like, no, we don't know who that is. So it's quite possible that we've been catfished. Uh, and that is a photo of the girl from 25 years ago, whereas whoever, whoever was this friend 15 years ago is somebody else entirely. But I do mind. Uh, was there anything about a pen pal being created for the deceased Aya? Fifteen years ago, somebody saw a figure that looked like Aya at the Fumino residence. There's also a rumor of a ghost, a young girl that haunts that empty lot. <laughs> if it was a ghost, it'd be your mom. Come on. <laughs> Sanpei was saying it was a woman in her late 20s. Oh, you know, those classic ghosts. Yeah. How does that story go? Oh, Lafcardi O'Hearn. The original weeb. You guys know Lafcardi O'Hearn? Uh, he, um... He, uh, he, he was the first real collector of Japanese ghost stories. Uh, put out the, the public domain collection, uh, Kaidan. Um which I think were collected in the early 1800s. Uh, Lafcadi O'Hearn was a... Uh, I want to say he was Dutch. I might be wrong. I want to say he was Dutch. Um, went over to Japan. Uh, fell in love with it. Became a total weeb. Uh, married a uh, married a Japanese woman. Uh, changed his name to a Japanese name. I can't remember what his Japanese name was. Um, and uh, collected lots of uh, folklore and translated it into... Uh, into uh, um, European languages, got uh, got a lot of uh, of classic uh, classic Japanese uh, folklore um, uh, exported. Um, he was uh, accepted and beloved uh, within Japan. There's definitely like kind of like a a fetishy. Maybe that's the wrong word. Um, like a hyper focus on a on a different uh, culture, um, but hell, people seem to love him. Uh, Haruka and Yuki leave. It has been a long day. Time to go to bed. But first, I should write down my findings. I scribble down a few notes. Classic ghost, diet ghost, mom ghost. There's four eyes with his fake glasses. There's the monkey. There's uh, Rico the bitch. There's Fatty. We don't know Bestie. Snappy? Shorty? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. You saw the uh, you saw the museum when you were looking it up. The f uh, Fates is here, in a bush. Feeling good. Uh, I couldn't find Aya today either, but I found out a little bit about what happened. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally find her. Wow, on to chapter six. We're, we're blazing through today. Not getting notifications. God. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem that uh, happens with Twitch from time to time. I, I don't always get them either. Uh, it's been six days since I came to Matsue. It seems like every uh, like whoever was writing to me was pretending to be Aya Fumino. Uh, she tricked me, but somehow I don't hold a grudge. Even if the name wasn't real, I think the rest of it was the truth. Before I leave, I should read another letter. Okay. I pull a letter out of my bag. <laughs> this is the sixth letter. It's postmarked October 17th. This stationary pattern is ginger, I guess. Oh, Ginger is in... 
Ginger is in the food. I'm Genki. I'm not Genki. Fates, I got soaked. I got a wet t-shirt on. <laughs> I went and got a burrito. And it was so delicious and I got so wet in the rain. Uh-oh. I can hear somebody behind me. There he is. There he is. Hello, Festy. Just in time for chapter six. You need to be kind to of girls too, Max. <laughs> Fates, when are you not up to mischief? Oh, big thunder. Hmm. I remember what I wrote. <laughs> okay, how bad can we make this? All right, I'm just gonna skip past this because it it's a little bit vast for me. And if we wait until it's done, we can zoom in. Look at that little robot at the top of our stationery. Thank you for your letter. There are terrible people who would suspect you of cheating. It's autumn of our third year of high school, so the pressure's probably making people jump at shadows. It must be reassuring to have a hero in your class, though. I wonder what kind of guy Snappy is. I'm interested. I'm a little interested. Is he the idol type? The sporty type? The princely type? The princely tripe. Thank you very much, uh, Festy. I'll drink to that. We got a lot of thunder here, Festy. Um... I want the girls in my class to feel like they can re rely on me, but in reality, they probably think I'm just, they probably just think I'm annoying. <coughs> but I do have a sense of justice and the will to protect girls. You must be pretty smart to raise your grades at a time like this, Aya. I want to study more myself, but I'm having trouble keeping my grades up. I need to hit the books. Let's just do our, let's both do our best and get into our top choice schools. Also, let's enjoy what little time we've got left in high school. P.S. I like black-haired beauties. Um, I like girls to be mysterious and beautiful. I like girls with nice bodies. I like girls that are fun to be around. <laughs> let's go, uh, as much, as tempted as I am for nice bodies, let's go for, uh, black-haired beauties. <laughs> um, do you like black hair? <laughs> are you interested in folklore? Please tell me your measurement. <laughs> what kind of people do you like? Yes. Yes! <laughs> the world's worst guy. I thought Snappy was a guy, but if it's the same person as Morita's childhood friend, it has to be a woman. Tomoko comes to put the futon away. <laughs> Good morning. You're running on all cylinders every single day, huh? So far from being cool. I think you're fine how you are. Be natural. Big naturals. <laughs> Tell me about your big naturals, please. I was out trimming the bush for a couple hours this morning. Who is your hero, Tomoko? Or like Anpan Man. An anime hero, huh? How about in reality? Anybody who is a hero to you? Absolutely not! The face is on the uh, 10,000 and 5,000 yen bills. Oh, man. 
Uh, from anime to hard cash, that's realistic to be sure. I do believe the people on Japanese money are quite evil. <laughs> Who was your hero when you were in high school? Oh, it's a lady. The captain was a girl. The girls had a crush on a girl? Yeah, yeah, it is it, it is pretty common, Buns. Tomoko puts the futon away. I love that picture. First, I'm going to Lafkari O'Harn Memorial Museum. LHMM. No, I haven't. I'm not a fan of scary stories. It's like our character also has no interest in Matsue. Uh, let me just turn the light on. It's getting a little dark in here. Fuzzy boy on our hands. He's nice and dry. Not like me. That won't be. Tomoko leaves the room. I tried to stop her, but she came back with Lafcadio Harn's Kaidan, aka the collection of Japanese ghost stories. I didn't want to read. Uh, the Matsue Tourist Board doesn't actually want tourists. <laughs> They're like, we don't want any gamers coming here. Tomoko pushes the book into my hands. Tomoko leaves. And we got Lafkadi O'Harn's book. Copy of Kwaidan. So nice of her to lend it to us. Look at this spooky picture. All right, I should read a little bit. That's a great cover. I read Kwaidan. I've avoided Lafkadi O'Harn's books, but now that I'm giving it a chance, it's uh, sort of nostalgic, yet fresh. The strange stories and beautiful writing were fascinating, and I ended up reading the entire book. It's not just there to scare you. It deals with people's karma, which makes it more interesting. I look at the clock. It's time to go to the Lafcadio O'Hearn Memorial Museum. Oh, we're an expert now. <gasps> As I step outside, a tall guy with a hat rushes away. Isn't that Nozu? Isn't that the bartender? That's suspicious, to put it mildly. <laughs> uh, let's go! On an old-style street along a moat, there's a wooden column that says Lafcadio O'Hearn Memorial Museum. Looks like this is the place. I wonder if this was his house. Um, there's a gorgeous board fence and a gate with a tiled roof. Beyond that gate, there's a Japanese-style single-story wooden house. I walk into the Lafcadio O'Hearn Memorial Museum. There are exhibition panels and pictures from Hearn's life. I walk around the museum. I just got here. Let's have a little peek. There he is, the man himself. Uh, there's a picture of Lafcadio O'Hearn with commentary about his family. It looks like his father was Irish. Is that him with his baby? Several items that he treasured. He was 160 centimeters tall. <laughs> that must be him with his wife with their baby. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I got, I got nap bites like nobody's business. Okay, so I guess we gotta think now. Or read the guidebook. An introduction to the life and works of Lafcadio Hearn, who transmitted Japanese culture through his many writings in the Meiji era. His favorite desk, ver uh, valuable publications, and many other documents are on display. Well, there you go. Uh, so we want to look for something for about this uh, forest legend. Everyone used to call him Herun-san. I guess Herun and Herun being like Hearn. 
I don't see anything that uh, that talks about the princess of he uh, Hime Hime Gamori Forest. This guy again. This guy. Remember this guy? That's some very fake everything. Ah, that startled me. I jump when I realize Kurai is standing right next to me. Do you think this is the same guy who, like, plays the old man with the cotton ball eyebrows? I wonder. I love that stash, though. It's really great. <laughs> Photoshopped hat! <laughs> I think it's just, like, precariously placed on his wig. Your specialty is ghost stories, isn't it? You know about the princess of Himegamori Forest? Well, can you tell me? No. <laughs> you want me to pay you? tip. <laughs> He says the m of the milady. What's the condition? <gasps> I wouldn't be able to pass this. I've, you know, I, I've read Kaidan, uh, Kaidan, but, uh... Oh, Lord. <laughs> the buns. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what we can do. Okay, we know that his uh, father is from Ireland, so we look at this. I point at the panel. He's from Ireland. This is, <laughs> this is bullshit. This is not a uh, Lafcadio Laf O'Hearn uh, trivia. This is just like point at the things that you looked at earlier. Let me answer the question. I point to the poster. I saw it on that poster over there. It's Helun san. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I know this one. He's 160 centimeters. The sign says Heron was 160 centimeters tall. Oh, All the stuff that's so important about this um cultural figure. Tokiwa. So what are Hearn's measurements? <laughs> Hearn's three sizes. <laughs> you imagine if he was really busty? 38, 24, 36, Lafcadio Hearn. Uh, hmm. Oh, I remember this guy. This is like a... Hey kids, this is Lafcadio Hearn. I got me some big mommy milkers. He sent an assassin. Ogasawarashiは十七歳の千代姫と出雲に退く事にした。その途中、土村に通りかかると千代姫は水が飲みたいと言い出した。獣舎が止めるのも聞かず、姫は池に歩み寄った。すると。Oh, she blew it. Uh, what happened to her? The lady vanishes. Disappeared. Does like a Japanese take on Ophelia. I hadn't heard that one before. A drowned body looked beautiful a week later. That doesn't make any sense. So it's not like the dead princess came back to life, right? I'm back, boys, and I'm better than ever. 
bitch must have meant that the dead Aya came back alive in a more beautiful state. Thank you, Kurai. <laughs> Matsue and aliens. <laughs> Brunette Hearn, 38, 32, 38. Loves relaxing by the pool and dreams of becoming a fashion designer. <laughs> Perfect fates, good one. Matsue and aliens. Did Martians come and visit or something? No, no. Space isn't your thing, huh? This rain is relentless! My goodness, it's... It has not stopped since I got soaked, and it is... Harder than ever right now. I'm loving it! I'm worried about Justina getting home, though. She's gonna have a bit of a tough time. Uh, but, uh... At least she's with pals, so she can hang out and spend the day there. Thanks. I hang on to the flyer. Oh, Bird Witch, I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much for the clip, Festy. Uh, now what? Exhibit of Matsue and Aliens? I bet sci-fi fans would love it. But it doesn't sound like it's for actual event- for actual adults. Wait a minute. The people at that UFO research lab would love this. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to workshop that a bit. Laugh cardio hern, expert on ghosts and titties. I'll GP, see Morita, and ask about Snappy. Thanks. Thanks for the typo. I knock on the door. The door opens, and Sugari is there. Hmm. Did you see any UFOs today? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Maybe later. Alright, look. I show her the figurine of the rabbit on the agate base. <laughs> That's our password to get in, I guess. Uh, Sugari is the only one in the room. Is Morita here? I did. I like her glasses. But, well, that's... Oh, don't ban me! Water is up to your back door! Goodness gracious. It's feast or famine. Or flood or famine. Plumber Mike and Bussy Redhead Patricia. Oh. Yeah, Fates, it's it's a harsh reality. Of course, I'm here because I'm interested in UFOs and aliens. <laughs> what is this all of a sudden? We've got our poster, right? Like, uh, hey, take a look at this. I show her the flyer for the exhibition of Matsue and Aliens that I got at the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. Uh, I have this with me because I'm interested in aliens. Good thing I kept hold of it. I was moved. I felt like I saw scenes of Japan that I had forgotten. And I learned how tall Lefkadio Hearn was. Wow. Did you? Hang on, I'm just... The rain is so loud. Goodness gracious me. Oh. Justina's just texting me, sorry. She's gonna get she's gonna get an Uber home. 
ちょうど道徳に守られた神々の国だったあなたもそう考えるでしょう Personally, I love it. I just, um, I'm just gonna quickly check to make sure none of Justina's tomato plants have fallen down. We had, a, we had a tomato plant fall down the other day and、uh, smash.、Um, all the tomato plants are、uh, they're currently okay.、Um, I should probably actually text Justina and see if she wants me to bring them in.、Um, do you want me to bring plants in?、Uh, but the,、uh, I can see that our drains are flooding our, our,、um, our gutters. Are <laughs> just spewing water. So,、uh, pretty intense situation out there. Yeah. Yakumo was so keen on me, then he pulled out a treta. Then, so he was sick made at the Kamashina. Kareva Nippon is the one who 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 is No,、uh, no, no, not at all.、Uh, Morita's running late, though, right? Anata, Morita, ni a i n i k i t a n d a t a a n e Do you know how old Morita is? Perhaps you could tell me his measurements. Watashi no nende wa kikanai de ne. They're mad about her, and huh? Morita and I are the same age. I turned 33 this year. And the chances are that. The snappy who bit him. What? what? The snappy who bit him and the snappy that I'm looking for are the same person. Yesterday he was talking about snappy, but. I hope your nest is safe from rain too, Birdwitch. Why not? Did she break his heart? <laughs> Physically painful. Oh, literally painful. Snappy has a left canine tooth sticking out. How about you? Tell me how old you are.、Uh, by the way, Sigari, what do they call you back in school? Well, you've got to have at least one. She's at Sanin Chuo TV, right? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah. This lady's flirting with you, buns. Come on. Uh, I guess the one where a man who's left his wife for his career can't forget about his wife, and he comes back a few years later to be welcomed by the si same kind, beautiful wife. But it turns out she was already dead. That's my favorite. It's creepy, but I liked it because it was also bittersweet. Nope, you blew it. Really? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Tsugari is kind of weird. Uh, Misaki knew about me, though. She must have something to do with Aya. I'm going to Sanin Chuo TV. Let's go. Uh, we have already alienated this, uh, this lady. We, we went to this newscaster very, very early in the game. And, uh, the first thing we said to her was, Hey, are you bitch? Um, and she completely flipped out. So now we're gonna say, Hey, sorry for calling you bitch earlier. Are you snappy? Fasty's going hard on Elite Dangerous. Yeah, we definitely are. <laughs> we're all we're all in agreement here, Bird Witch. Could I please see Misaki Murakami? Uh, no, I, I don't, but can you call her? Murakami,から、アポなしの客は取り次がないでほしいと言われてます。特にマックスっぽい男は会いたくないそうです。This <laughs> guy looks like a Max Doofus. What do you mean, a guy who looks like he could be Max? あなたのような人じゃないですか? <laughs> she seems to hate me now. どうしました? Oh, uh, I almost forgot about an appointment. I'll excuse myself now. I leave the reception desk. If I wander around here, she might show up again. Let's think about life. The atmosphere is a little different from the last time I came here. Everybody knows I'm Max. Yeah, 100%. I look around. On the wall, there are posters to promote their programs. One of them is of Misaki. There are posters for the station. Misaki has perfect teeth, so she can't be snappy. There's a bunch of stuff up, up for the auction. Misaki contributed, too. There are dolls, stationery, accessories, and also that red spider lily brooch. Uh, that's the brooch she was wearing. I'll buy it as a keepsake. I'd like to get this. As I'm about to make a payment, I notice Misaki's boss is the cashier. Hi, arigatougozaimasu. Thanks, Misaki's boss. <laughs> Just taking secret photos of Max. Being like, watch out for this dipshit. Um, aren't you one of the higher-ups around here? He's the bucho. Uh, so what's, an what's the department head doing here? <laughs> this is my chance. Talking to someone so familiar is weird. I might be able to get some information out of this guy. We got the brooch. Uh, Misaki Murakami is usually popular. Yeah, Festy, that's how it is in a patriarchal society. <laughs> Eventually, you're going to meet a Misaki. And when you do... She's all yours, boss. Uh, I'm a fan of hers, too. Isn't she the most promising of all the women who started together? She doesn't have a rival around the same age. If that's the case, could she be Morita's childhood friend? Uh, no, nothing. Thank you very much. I rush out of Sanin Chuo TV. I need to find out more about Misaki. I wonder who would talk about her. That chatty bitch. My... Oh, no. She already said don't talk to me ever again. <laughs> the chatty bitch might talk about Misaki. Bitch is probably at Waterworks. God damn it. I arrive at Waterworks. Is Riko Sasaki here? Hi. Haneda sama janai. Sasaki sama de sara oku no seki ni. Festy, yes. But that's also happened every chapter. Like every time we um every every time we bully somebody, um, they, they end up giving us information, and then they say, I never want to see you again. And the very next chapter, we go and accost them again. <laughs> the manager remembers bitch by her maiden name. Of course, women don't usually change their last name when they marry. 
or what women usually change their last name when they marry, so it may not necessarily be the match the name on the school list. <laughs> there, we did have that conversation during the Hell Night stream. Uh, I walk towards the back, and bitch is sitting alone. Oh, this fool again. I'd like to ask you about your high school days. <laughs> I don't want to bring this up, but... <laughs> Why not? It's nothing big. I'd like to ask you about Misaki Murakami. <laughs> What was she called in high school? It's snappy, isn't it? <laughs> Good answer. I heard she got the most votes in a popularity poll. The girls idolize her. I know you're jealous. Entertainers and announcers are different, but she's an icon in the television industry. <laughs> She's making bitches dream a reality. Oh. I bet you were really popular too. <laughs> I love her. She's good. But you weren't as popular as Misaki. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I earned a new name that summer. Cunt. That's what you wanted to believe, but I bet she was actually popular among the boys. Whoa! Misaki is savage. She bit him. <laughs> wow. And that's why they call her snappy. No, I'm glad that I heard that story. It's helpful. She 100% does. That was plenty. Thank you. I head outside. We're just gonna like run back to this uh, news agent or this this news agency. Be like, hey, hey, Snappy, I hear you like biting fingers. Um, so we're gonna go accost Watanabe at school. He's not gonna be happy to see us. Uh, we're gonna lurking around the school. We've already we already like nearly got arrested at the beginning of this game. For those of you just joining us for the first time today, um, the very first chapter, um, we um, were mistaken uh, for a pervert for prowling around the school and uh, nearly got into some big trouble. Uh, I'm back at Oba High School, but it looks like classes are still in session. A sleepy boy in the rain. Uh, I go around uh, the back of the field. Monkey is doing maintenance. There you are, Monkey. No, I'm looking for Snappy this time. <laughs> Get his ass! Get his ass, Watanabe! Yeah, we basically are a cop. You're pretty funny. I wouldn't come to see you if it wasn't important. Oh! Was there a borscht fuss? Did I miss a borscht fuss? Did I? Oh no. Well, I'm trying to find it. Did I miss a fuss? Did I seriously miss a fuss? I never miss a fuss. You did? Why didn't it show up? Did I just, I guess I just must have missed it. Well, it's time for a borscht fuss then. I'm so, I'm sorry, Struggle Ruffy, and I didn't see it. You should have uh, should have shouted about it. But well, we got uh, we got a boy to fuss with then. 
Um, I'm just gonna just gonna quickly mute this. Because we got a big boy. I don't have any treats for the big boy, so this is gonna be a slightly uh, sleepy fuss. But it'll be a good one, all the same. with some treats. Come here. Come on, Borscht. Yeah, you're on the right track. Oh. Good boy. Two more. Ow, ow. <laughs> you got my finger. And finally... That's my guy. That's my guy. There we go. You good boy? I think he's a good boy, folks. I think he's officially a good boy. It's like a rough rub, too. Oh, so fast. You want to shout into the microphone? You want to shout? No, you just want to sniff it. <laughs> Good boy. So, uh, sorry for missing that one at first, uh, Struggle Ruffian. I, I just completely passed me by. Um, do always say, if you redeem something and I have uh, missed it like a dipshit, um, your cat threw up this morning. Borsch throws up a lot. He throws up so much. Um, not out of, not out of the ordinary, just regular, regular cat barfing. Um, so. Back to it. That cat is fussed out. Uh, whole thing about him being a protecting woman while blackmailing with photos. It's very, that is very, uh, very cop. Hey, I hear you get snapped at. 
I heard that the monkey who never lost a fight cried after a girl bit him. <laughs> fucking prick. Look, fat, look, here's the deal. <laughs> that, that's a good face. Who bit you? Misaki Murakami, wasn't it? Hmm? It felt like he blushed as soon as I mentioned her name. Did you have a crush on Misaki? They say girls like bad boys. Were you two dating? There you go. I'm not sure where he's going. Bullseye. It was just a flight of fancy. Oh. I tried to kiss her and she bit me. Uh, I see. Wait, you didn't force? But no, because... Watanabe is not a horrible guy. We're the horrible guy. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Uh, all the people in this game have backstories about being bitten by other people or crows. <laughs> the true mystery. What bit you? What bit us? But why would she bite you? Uh, I don't know. She just did it. <laughs> Be honest. What is it? Monkey goes into the school building. It looks as though he went to get something. <laughs> Spider was an asshole, and we just got the asshole powers. Uh, Monkey comes back. He has an old friendship bracelet in his hand. Uh, Monkey shows me the friendship bracelet. <laughs> We're like a wear asshole. It's one of those Misanaga, uh, Misanga bracelets made with threads of five colors. Blue, red, white. Uh, blue, yellow, red, white, and black. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about the situation? Poor guy. Uh, also, um, the um, all of the writing up to this point has described this character. It's like they call him Monkey because he's big as a gorilla, and he's not. He's just like an average-bodied guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to being such a muscle head, you pulled so hard and broke it. <laughs> Biting this guy on the hand, like uh, Werner Herzog's, uh, um, Werner Herzog's version of uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Go to the poles. That's it? I can return it. I can return it back to her if you want. These kinds of things are often better with help from a third party. You can go apologize to her after that. You can count on me. I'll take good care of the friendship bracelet. <laughs> He's got no reason to trust us. We, we made him cry in the beginning, too. Monkey hands me the friendship bracelet. Acquired five-color friendship bracelet. I'll give it back to Misaki. Oh, also, have her teeth been that perfect since she was a kid? Who knew her since she was a kid, then? Oh no! Tanaka? Four eyes. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. We've hurt him enough. <laughs> We've hurt four eyes enough. Um, so we're going to the city offices. I arrive at the city office. Come <laughs> on! Uh, today I'm here to talk about your beloved Misaki. She used to be called Snappy, didn't she? No, um, her teeth seem perfect, Festy, that's the thing. 
Um, it seems like she had one tooth that stuck out and she got that fixed. When she got upset, she had a habit of snapping at people with her teeth. <laughs> There's that good face again. Yes, you do. You could just tell me. Misaki is snappy, right? He's much more stubborn than I thought. I guess I need to give him some bait. Uh, as I recall, Four Eyes voted for Misaki Murakami in a popularity poll. What do we have? The brooch? Wouldn't ask to talk to you for nothing. Uh, I have a souvenir for you. <laughs> Leave me alone. How about now? I show him the red spider lily brooch that I got at the auction. This belonged to Misaki. You like red spider lilies? <laughs> the Japanese name of the red spider lily, Higanbana, implies death and afterlife. It's not exactly the luckiest flower. Wow, the smartest kid in school. Sure knows a lot of trivia. <laughs> I don't use cheap tricks like that. <laughs> <laughs> A coat with uh, loads of pockets on the inside. They're full of all the personal possessions of women. <laughs> the old Misaki. Down at the old water and hole. You went to the same elementary school as her, didn't you? So now you're silent. Isn't his little cat tie cool, though? I told you I don't use cheap tricks. Four Eyes and Misaki went to the same elementary school. He might have an old picture or two. If there's an old picture, I can see what her teeth were like. Do you have an old picture of her? If you don't say anything, it means yes. How about we trade that picture for this brooch? The jumping cat on his tie is so cute. You're a jumping cat, aren't you, Borsh? You have a picture, don't you? You didn't take her picture secretly, did you? Show me. If there's a good one, I'll trade it for the brooch. <laughs> Just show me the pictures. Four Eyes goes back to his desk and comes back with an album. <laughs> hey, Two Eyes! You have that many pictures of her? And you carry them with you? How sad. Hmm. Fine, fine, just show me. I look at Four Eyes' album. This is an interesting picture. Why don't we trade this picture for this brooch? It's a legal exchange. I exchanged the red spider lily brooch for the, for the picture. Birdwitch! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit bad, too. <laughs> right in the heart. Oh, well. Yeah, we are such a freak. Uh, if you spoke to me about it 15 years ago, she would have gotten hurt, you know. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Can you talk to me about Aya Fumino now? 
Yume Dakara. Yume Dakara? Dream? What do you mean? Ie, nan demo arimasen. Kikana katta koto ni shite kudasai. Fine. I guess I need to go ask Misaki then. Dewa, watashi wa shigoto ni modorimasu. Well, we got the picture from middle school. Can we look at it? I want to see what this... If it's just like a, a close-up on a snaggle tooth. Oh, it's time for Kami Arian. Uh, before I visit Misaki, I should get something to eat. But let's, let's take a quick peek. Mm. Pardon me. It's an anime picture. I guess we'll see it close-up. Possibly with a... The photograph. Time to uh, work on our uh, su sumo legs and hips at uh, the Soba restaurant. I'm back at Kami Arian. If I want something to eat, Kami Arian is an easy choice. Sanpei greets me. Irasai. What should I eat today? I look at the menu. I'll have the deep fried moroge shrimp. Hey, moroge ebi no karaage teishoku o itcho. Sanpei repeats it loudly and goes back to the kitchen. Oh, this rain. I love it. Absolutely love it. I look at the friendship bracelet I got from Monkey. I've seen this bracelet somewhere. Could it be? Um, my my. Uh, I l take a look at the picture of the, uh, I got from Carla Coro Art Studio. The girl in the picture with Fatty has the same friendship bracelet on her wrist. <laughs> we love teeth. Uh, sh she's wearing the f same friendship bracelet. So she was friends with Snappy. Uh, I sit and think for a while, and Sanpei comes back with my meal. <laughs> So this is deep fried moroge shrimp. I wonder what it tastes like. That's right, deep fried. Some peppers. Doesn't look like a very filling meal, but uh, does look pretty delicious. Sanpei goes back to the kitchen as I take a bite. The shell is so tender and the shrimp is so rich and tasty. Being able to eat this every day must be a nice perk of living in Matsue. Genkichi comes out from the kitchen. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, Genkichi puts a stamp on the Mo on my stamp rally card. <laughs> Norovirus? I might complete all seven. <laughs> you imagine? Like, uh, Kami Arian. It's like, go to Kami Arian, get Norovirus. This isn't really the reason why I came here. Genkichi goes back to the kitchen. From the kitchen, Sanpei turns the TV on. Hmm. What's going on on TV, Sanpei? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, there it is. Uh, turn my attention to the TV. Oh, hey, it's Misaki. She's doing a weather report in front of the Carla Koro Art Studio. Even if I leave right now, I wouldn't make, there, make it there before she leaves. Hey, could you turn up the volume? <laughs> I only eat the legs. He eats the legs and the tail, and he's like, oh, I don't like the rest. It's not like that, but I do want to hear this. Sanpei turns up the volume. <laughs> She's just doing constant weather reports all over town. That's handy for us, but it doesn't seem like it's the best use of her time. If I head to Matsue Castle, I can catch her. My cell phone suddenly rings. Weird ringtone. For a weird, weird guy. Who could it be? I take the call. The call was from Yuka. Oh god, sorry, I'm a little bit worn out from all uh, that yard work I did earlier. Uh, calls from Yuka, F Fatty's fiance. Uh, she said she had something to talk about and asked me to come to the Monet Dango shop. Well, we're just going to skip out without paying and see if, see if we get some dango before we head on to Matsue Castle. I arrive back at the Monet Dango shop. 
Yuka is seated and waiting. She looks happy to see us. <laughs> How's Fatty doing? Oops. I don't think she's happy with us anymore. How's he feeling? Did we hospitalize him? Did we, like, bully him so much that he had a panic attack and, and went to the hospital or something? Oh, sleepy boy up there. Okay. Uh, that's great. Yep. <laughs> I can't say I had nothing to do with it, but that's not the real reason. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Who is he talking to? What was the conversation about? Uh oh. Oh, geez. So you got scared and called me. Hi. Was the woman who pretended to be Aya Fumino the one who got killed? Could Fatty be? Is that why he's afraid of the sight of blood? But Yuka would never admit it. I need her to be on my side for now. There is no record of a murder 15 years ago. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we probably bet him. <laughs> you trust him, don't you? We pecked his head with our little nose. I don't know him well, but he didn't seem like the kind of person who murders people. <laughs> what do you think? Then there's only one answer. He didn't do it. Don't look worried like that. You're closer to him than anyone. You have to trust him. Big smile. Good. Now there's one thing I need you to look into. Just one more thing. I need you to find out who married and changed their last their last name among his classmates. It's about time for the weather report. Oh, sorry. Talking to myself. Let's go uh, peck her like a bird. In front of the castle. Where is it? Am I... Am I stupid? I think it might be the park. I assume Fatty got whoever was pretending to be Aya and... Uh, well, right now I should focus on, on Misaki Murakami. Misaki is reading the, the weather report during a live broadcast. <laughs> this is what she does all day, all over town. Uh, once the broadcast is over, the staff begin to take down their equipment. Uh, all right, I should go ask her. Ask her. Misaki. Misaki notices me. <laughs> Lordy. Uh, it didn't. It didn't look like you could see me at the station. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Festy. Uh, I have something I want to ask you. Now, we might be at the end of this chapter already. I will, uh... We, uh, we are running long today, but uh, I will close out after uh, after we finish this chapter. You and Morita at the UFO Research Lab are childhood friends, aren't you? you? <laughs> He said that Snappy was at Sunin Chuo TV. I need to corner her to get anything more out of her. I should change the subject for now. Oh dear. Uh, ask your question straight, she would answer them. I need to find a trigger to talk about Aya. So be the brooch. Show us your snappers. Good call, actually. Too soon to show that. Okay. How about... How about this? 
Nope. When I first met you, you had a brooch on. It's a red spider lily brooch. Wasn't it your favorite? Uh, of course not. <sighs> oh, Lord. You gave it to an auction. But I gave the actual brooch to Four Eyes. If she keeps pretending she doesn't know, I don't have any way to question her. Fine, let's change the subject. No, no. Bungled, I better save. <laughs> I don't think I've saved since we started. There we go. This snappy, she's a tough nut to crack. What do we got here? Aliens. A coaster. Huh? <laughs> You like Lafcadio Hearn? <sighs> All right. Who was pretending to be Aya Fumino? Uh, I showed her the picture of Aya that uh, that that I. I showed her the picture of Aya that I. As <laughs> unfinished sentence there. Uh, as soon as Misaki sees it, she tenses up. <laughs> The letter talked about Snappy. It looks like this sounds familiar to you. No, that's not it. We fucked up. Now she's going home. Oh, not yet. Um... Maybe now it's time to ask about her biting Morita. You and Morita at the UFO Research Lab were childhood friends, weren't you? He said Snappy was now at Sunny and Chuo TV. There's no other woman about the same age as Aya at the station. So, yeah. It seems like Morita knew a lot about Snappy, but he wouldn't tell me much. He says he's been rooting for you. So, that she snapped at people with her teeth when she gets upset, and her left canine tooth sticks out. <laughs> well, sorry, Snappy. We got a photo of you wearing braces. I share with a picture of Misaki when she was in high school. Or in junior high. And she's wearing braces. It looks like you had braces. I got proof from someone that Misaki is indeed snappy. Uh, what do we have? Friendship bracelet, probably. I heard you bit monkey. <laughs> no fun bonds. <laughs> Imagine if she just bites us and runs away. That'd be so great. I got something from him. It's a friendship bracelet. I show her the five color friendship bracelet. <laughs> as soon as she sees the good luck bracelet, her expression changes. I should corner her with max mode. It's screaming in her face. What do we have here? Snappy. <laughs> you read this snapping turtle girl. I really want to say that. I don't think that's the right one. But I really want to say it. <laughs> like uh, when we courted Monkey and we were like, you turned into an actual monkey. You're Snappy the Snapping Turtle. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's something I want to ask. You're snappy to snapping. <laughs> Alright, that's not it either. Yeah. 
You are snappy, aren't you? <laughs> this rules. Being honest all of a sudden? That was odd. She didn't even resist. Well, very much that happened at the very beginning of this game. Um, when we uh, walked up to her and were like, hey, you're a woman. Are you bitch? And she's like, what? And, secure, and she got security to drag us out. Um, she doesn't want me to talk about that secret, so she must be trying to go along with it to get rid of me. What now? Uh, the girl who actually wrote me the letters. Oh no. <laughs> when you're a jet, you're when you're a snappy, you're a snappy for life. Oh, we have to start from the beginning now. Because we made her go home. We did get wrecked, yeah. Oh. Alright, we'll just, uh, uh, blaze our way through this. No Fs! F for, uh, F for fake. Got that. Use your friendship bracelet. Hey, Snappy. <laughs> what are we going to do with you, Snappy? Share with a picture of the girl who wrote me the letters, but we tried that. It didn't work out. Oh, yeah, the photo of, uh, from, from Carla Coro. Tell me about her. I show her the photo I got from Carla Coro Art Studio. As soon as she sees it, Misaki's expression gets tense. What? What I really want is to see and talk to her. The things she wrote about in her letters. She seems concerned about what was in those letters. She sent them to me, so yeah. <laughs> Before I get to that, who is the girl in the picture? Oh, she's lying, because they have this friendship bracelet. Not, not time yet. So we showed a picture again. Okay. That's a lie! The girl in the picture is wearing a friendship bracelet, and it matches yours. <laughs> no! I'm not your enemy. <laughs> Ace Attorney? Anybody checking out the um, the new uh, Ace Attorney that's coming out next week? Uh, I am. Mine's preloading. I'm so excited. All right, time for max mode. I want to see her. I want to see her. I'll do anything to see her. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Probably not the right answer, but it's very funny. You can't stop me now. I just want to see her. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Maybe we're just... I just want to see her. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I'm guessing she was special to Snappy, and she's special to me as well. 
In my last year of high school, when I was going crazy studying for entrance exams, her letters helped me stay sane. Here's Max Mode again. All right. Trust me. There's no justice except for me. Yes. Yes. I am the I am the only justice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freak thing to say. Oh, this game makes me laugh too much. I have a headache now. What's the top one? <laughs> yeah, yes! Think of me as a god. <laughs> <laughs> Everything hurts. Please believe me. Please. What happened? What happened? <laughs> you were wearing the same five color friendship bracelets. <laughs> we lose our mind, like at the end of the interview. Are the memories of her painful? Is Misaki gay? Is that what's going on? Is there some kind of tragedy? Ask her about her spider lilies, huh? <laughs> Red spider lilies symbolize sad memories. If you told someone this was a tourist board game, uh, they would uh, laugh you out of the fucking room. That's right. It's like we've been laughing all day. Do you have uh, sad memories of Aya? Then why did you donate it to the auction? Because I bought it there. <laughs> No, that's not true. You did because I dug up your past. You wanted to forget. Think of me as your god. You wanted closure for that sad memory. Uh, Farage's fucked face. I, he's kind of. Like, not really. Um, we're also, like, far worse than any character in Danganronpa. Um, we're picking little bits of evidence, but it doesn't have, like, any of the minigame stuff. Uh, don't you want to know what I, I thought of Snappy? Also, hello, how are you doing? Happy Sunday, Garage's Fuck Face. Hope you're having a good one. Read this letter. She wrote about how she felt. I hand the letter to Misaki. It's more of a... I mean, in, ter in terms of genre, it has more in common with Danganronpa. This is, this is more of a Japanese-style, command-based adventure game. Uh, like, like Danganronpa, or Snatcher, or Famicom Detectives Club, than it is a visual novel. Snappy holds my hand. Packing! She never bites me on my hand. She ガリは男前で私のヒーローなんです。ガリがいてくれて本当に良かった。This is 
どういう女性が好きですか <laughs> As Misaki reads the letter, she begins to cry. You saved her. We've got a little cutscene. There's four eyes. He fucked up. ないのに。いきなりサインはおかしいですね。そうですよね。そんなこと言われても。もしかして。ズルをしましたね。ズルって何ですか?ズルはズルですよ。カンニングですよ。カンニングだってよ。それで成績が上がったのか。カンニングな
also in this game, or like, it was light out in this game, not just light out here in the real world. So I think it's kind of suggesting that we accosted her until sundown. Uh, hold on, you forgot something. I hand her the friendship bracelet. Uh, Fate's everybody. The answer is everybody. Uh, Monkey wanted to apologize to you. You should thank me, Monkey. As Misaki leaves with the Sanin Chuo TV staff, I feel like someone's watching. I catch a glimpse of the tall guy in the hat walking away. The guy was in front of the inn earlier. It's fishy. Very fishy. Who was that? So we're going to go back to the inn, and that will be it until next Sunday. We went long to celebrate the rain. Hey, <laughs> It's my friend, Fishy. <laughs> I should relax in the bath for a while. I know who shows up in the bath. Yes. Yes. The man with the fake facial hair. I wanted to relax. Ugh. We're just two guys. Am I off to peck people? I am off to heck people. To heck people? I'm heckin' peckin'. No, thank you. How is not wanting to wash your wrinkly back stingy? Stingy. Festy, thank you very much. I'll drink to that. <laughs> hey, we're all men here. Uh, what do you know, old man? Nervous merch? Oh, God. Um... <laughs> this old man's coming on to us. Hmm. Yes. Huh? All right, fine. I will wash your back. I get out of the bath and wash Kogomo's back. Uh, so somehow I ended up washing an old man's back. What? Okay. All right. Good night, everybody. Don't do it. It's very Pink Panther. Yeah, it's 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 the legally distinct Pink Panther theme. Uh, it's the uh, the old man farting in the tub theme. That's what the uh, saxophone uh, signifies. The water temperature is perfect. So, Jalo, ここの湯はいつ来ても適温じゃ。その日の気温や湿度に応じて常に最適な温度になよ調整されとる。Buns <laughs> deserves to be farted on. Wow, is that right? その卓越した職人技とサービス精神には、FBIも一目置いちょった。Oh, you're just joking. <laughs> okay, so what's the special information you have? Let's rent some videos. That's it? <laughs> you made me wash your back for that. <laughs> Best character. Old bastard. <laughs> gonna, we're gonna rent a DVD of old men washing each other's backs. Uh, I'm back in my room. Uh, DVD rental store. I might go have a look. Let's go! What? Where, 
Where is it? Where could it be? It's not showing up on the map. Is it in the shopping district? It's probably in the shopping district, right? Italian noise guy. <laughs> Fates, um... I think he was German, not Italian. Do you ever see that noise guy, um, Shiza? <laughs> that guy who would, like, do performances where, like, I think it was, I think it was Nutella. I don't think it was actually shit. Um, but people would get, like, really upset whenever he was, like, he'd show up at the, uh, show up at the venue to do his gig. And I remember, um, people being, like, um... Um, oh, go get your equipment. Keep it close to you. Shiza's here. Uh-huh, there we go. Yeah, we're going to go to a special room. It's going to be Videodrome. We're going to get our comeuppance. Uh, I arrive at Kyomise shopping area. On the first floor of a multi-tenant building, there is a small DVD rental store. This is what the old man, Kogamo, was talking about. Uh, I take a look at the DVD rental store. Yeah, his, his whole deal was he would, like, he'd strip down and he, his, his hindquarters were covered in what I assume was Nutella. And he would blast noise while simulating blasting brown. I'm here to return some videotapes. The older titles are in the back. They got a bunch of the latest CDs. It's a small store, but they have a pretty good selection. I found the DVD of Shadow Shogun, the movie that Aya mentioned in her letter. I'm gonna get this! I rent the DVD of Shadow Shogun. The only guy in the noise scene who didn't look like total shit. <laughs> Alright, I found what I wanted. I'll head back to my room and watch this. My lights just flickered slightly. Um, this rain is... it's unstoppable. I was hoping to maybe go out and get myself a nightcap, but... It doesn't look like I'm going anywhere. I should watch the DVD. Shadow Shogun is the story of a man who had to pretend to be a Shogun when the real Shogun suddenly died. No, I... No, that's a horrible thing to do. <laughs> if I want it, I'll go out in the rain. I won't force somebody to bring it to me. Uh, at first he has trouble, but after a while he starts to act like a real Shogun. It is Kagemusha. Did she come from a similar environment? At the end, however, he tries to live life his own way. I wonder if that's how she felt. <laughs> that is the face of a constipated man. Fates is dropping some juicy gossip about her friends in the chat. I ponder for a moment. I should write down what I found uh, before I go to bed. Sandbags at the front door. Who's Bestie? Is it Nozu? And who's Shorty? I'll have to peek at my front door uh, after this. Uh, whoever was writing letters to me pretended, pretended to be Aya for Yoko Fumino. The puzzle pieces are just starting to come together. Maybe tomorrow I'll find out the truth. And uh, we will read this gnome stationery. And I will save. And we'll be back at this next week. But I am here on Tuesday. Uh, it's the seventh day since I arrived in Matsue. Out of Aya's seven classmates, I've identified five. But none of them would tell me about her. Uh, and now there's even the hint of a crime and a big one. Before I go out, I'd better read one another of Aya's letters. I take a letter out from my bag. This is the fourth letter. It's dated August 25th. I know the game Kind Words. 
Um, I find uh, I, I played with it a little bit. Um, I wrote a couple of replies. I found the idea of uh, actually um, uh, actually uh, um, uh, writing something, uh, uh, expecting a response to be too stressful. Yeah, uh, Fates. It's it's very sweet. It's very slight, but very sweet. Uh, Faraj's fuckface has a new Twitter account. Dan Grady Cool. Um, now, Mr. Mr. Face. What's what's your tip for getting back on Twitter? Because I have tried. I got I got banned at the end of Meltdown May uh, for insulting a um, uh, a um, IDF themed superhero, um, and I have tried to get back on, and they aren't having me. Do I need to get a sim? Do I need to get a burner sim? Is this a Santa Claus pattern on the stationery? No, they are fairies from European folk tales. Change your brand too. Okay. All right. Good tips. I've got a few. I've got a few spare sim cards. It's just a matter of uh, actually sticking it in something. Yeah, enemy. I got banned. お父さんが建設会社の社長をしていたチビはみんなが羨むような贅沢な暮らしをしていました。でもこれからは厳しい状況になるようです。みんなとても心配しています。Good guess. We're going to meet Shorty. And he's going to be like in platform shoes, and we're just going to like rip his shoes off and then tower over him and shout at him. I tried to get back on with a VPN, and they just like demanded a phone number immediately. <laughs> it sounds like you're specific about what kind of girls you like. I can't tell you my measurements. <laughs> Looking at that gnome and being like, is that Santa? Um, nice, uh, during isolation, have, uh, unexpected contact with other students. So I take it this was like an exchange pro program of, uh, an art exchange. It wasn't just, uh, let's, uh, send unsolicited art to strangers. <laughs> I finished reading the letter. The description of Shorty's home life in the letter sounds similar to what I heard from the bartender at Nakamura Bar. An old Windows phone. Nice. Um, I need to, because, um... My PlayStation Vita has a slot for a SIM card, so I'll have to see if I can receive a text message on my Vita. <laughs> and I'll use that as the burner phone. I wonder if the bartender is Shorty. What did I write back to her? I recall the reply that I wrote. So I'll skip through this so we can read the letter on the same stationery every time. And then we'll reply. Let's see here. Thanks for your letter. I really like festivals. I've even helped carry a portable shrine once. All that enthusiasm is great. It really gets the blood pumping. I'm sure the festivals at Matsue are filled with spirit. I'd like to join in a festival in Matsue someday. Uh, unlike Tokyo, I'm sure the air is clean and you're surrounded by nature. Just imagining it makes me want to pay a visit. Friends are medicine for the heart, huh? You may be right. It's embarrassing to say it out loud, but I do cherish my friends. I'm going to be separated from those friends one day, but I want to... Always keep them in my heart. Uh, from Max. Uh, there isn't anyone I... I just enjoy hanging out with friends. I'm focused on studying. I like lots of people. I can't just choose one. And there is someone I like, but I've never talked... Never talked to them! <laughs> that's that's us! <laughs> uh, where do you go with friends? How do you study history? That was the biggest one yet. Free EE SIM cards, good to know. 
Thank you very much. Um, what kind of date spots are there? Is there someone you like? <laughs> there we go. I wrote a pretty serious reply, huh? No, uh, no chance to talk about aliens in that one. Tomoko comes to put the futon away. There she is. Morning. Face that does sound nice. That's not a bad idea, but I got something I need to do. Before that, I'm thinking of researching Furaribi. A yokai. Some kind of monster. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's a real get the fuck out moment. Um, but that is where I'm going to stop for today because we've gone a full extra hour um, in honor of me starting late and in honor of the rain. Um, but hey, everybody, it's been a real hoot. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, we play more Root Letter on Sundays from 2 till 4 usually, but now it's 2 till 5. How about that? What a day it's been. Uh, what else do I have to say? Um, I'll be back on Tuesday. Um, I, I guess we could maybe finish up World's End Club. It's very tiring. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Because um, there's a few other things that I want to play. Um, so yeah, I'm here on Tuesdays and Fridays uh, at 8 p.m. on both of those days. And I'm here on Sundays at 2. Um, that is, um, that's British summertime. Um, what else? What else? What else? <gasps> I think that sums it up perfectly. Uh, let me just see if there's anybody that we can raid this afternoon. I know um, afternoons are not always the most ideal time for a raid. Uh, hey, fellas. This is Tori Amos, and I love me some big mommy milkers. That is exactly right. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good for raids. Um, so I'm going to call it here. Um, but I will always say, remember to stay sassy, stay sour, and never log off.